across the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Still storming here on Stormhill. No surprises there. We've got a portal to somewhere terrible to go deal with. So let's get on Torrent and head over that way. I'm going to ignore the wolves this time. They can't stop me. I'm going to assume that the giant flame guy over here is gone now. Because we took care of him. You can tell when you're getting towards one of these apparently called Ever Jails. Spelled differently, but that's okay. Okay, do we have a Yep, there's a stake. Perfect. So if this is anything like the previous one of these we did. We'll just instantly respawn over there, freely pick up the souls, jump back in here. Where we can't use Torrent or Spirit Summons. It's us versus whatever horrible monstrosity has been trapped in this eternal prison, basically. What's the worst that could happen? Alright. Crucible Knight. Oh yeah. I have a stop attack going on there. He's got a big sword. I've got a big sword. I think we can safely say we're not gonna need Cerulean tear flasks for this. Probably not going to help too much. So let us reconfigure there a little bit. Flasks. Allocate. And we do have five flasks now, so that's something. That's something. Okay. Yeah, 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 wolves. Come from the sky. I'm leaving. Should be able to very easily get the runes back. Yep. Doing the hole outside of the Ever Jail. Which is nice. I can work with that. These are clearly things we probably should not be messing with. That's not going to stop us. You do okay damage. Can't really complain. What do you got? You got shield attack. Yeah, we stomp there. That's hard. Hmm. Not ideal for melee. But he's got a big old stomp like that. Dragonfire is not the answer, though. 
That's clear. As with a lot of things, it's probably accomplishable with magic. With some level of ease. But we don't have that right now. And that's okay. Try parrying. Yeah, I don't have no parrying either. That'd be an interesting idea, though. We can dodge the slam, though. So that's something. Bonk. Ow. Oh, come on. I wasn't even on the ground for that. <laughs> He does like to punish the heels. Oh, we're on the outside of the arena. That's not going to help either. Backing up into a wall. Not a good strategy. Seems pretty aggressive. Just like the previous one of these type of areas we've been to. Question becomes, do we want to stand really close or keep our distance a bit? of a dragging the sword on the ground charging strong attack kind of deal he was doing. That's something to be aware of. Hmm. <laughs> doesn't look like the jumping heavy attack is doing any staggering here or anything. There's that attack again. Stop. Really interesting shield too. <laughs> kind of get stuck in combos there a little bit. Hmm. Try Dragonfire. It's always worth giving it a shot. Maybe he's insanely weak to fire. You never know. You never know. It has a very long build up attack on it, though. Very large wind up. Which makes the question if it's even going to be possible to hit. He just got kind of stabbed me in the face there. And then he just blocks it. Not exactly helpful. Okay. 
Okay, now he's just hiding behind his shield. That's new. What a combo. <laughs> Combos for days. Yeah, Dragonfire is not going to work. Works well against unaware enemies and groups of weak guys. And guys are especially weak to fire. For stronger, faster guys, it's not particularly helpful. We'd also try a shield. That's an idea. I feel like the stomp attack would not be blocked by a shield, though. Nice and close. My face. <laughs> okay. We're definitely not in a Oh, we got it almost dead in a few attempts kind of state here. I think standing up close might be beneficial. We'll give that a few tries here. This is definitely less of a, oh, we're really close. We just need to try a little bit harder situation. We are currently getting a little destroyed. And, I mean, look at this guy. Of course you're going to get destroyed. Do something. The hard part is to know if you're good to attack. He's got a lot of combos that he does. Ah. My goodness, the reach on that one. Haha! <laughs> I found your range! Oh my goodness, come on. I don't like his shield attacks. The wind-ups sometimes, my goodness. Let me get a look at how much damage each attack is doing. We're definitely doing less since I'm doing more just regular weak attacks. Also don't know if he can bleed yet. That's another question. Because our, our timing windows are not great for heavy attacks or anything like that. Get away from the wall. Oh, come on. the shield slam has a bit of tracking to it. Or the... Yeah, the shield... Oh, it's 
spins it around to where I'm already rolling. And it stabs me in the face. <laughs> Now I'm over here. <laughs> Let me heal. <laughs> you almost need to wait for him to do like the four attack combo before you really have an opening. Which isn't ideal. <laughs> Don't think we have any buff items I'd really want to use in this situation. It's the awkward thing about buffs, where, for the most part, if you can do it with the buffs, you would have been able to do it without the buffs, and they're sorta of limited, at least for now. So I really can't use them while learning, and then you've already learned the fight, and then it doesn't really matter as much. Okay. I've got a bit of range on it too there. Delay dodging the shield attack a little bit. Run away! <laughs> Third-ish. Knowing when to knowing when to dodge is basically the part that matters. Progress, I'd say, at least. And of course, we don't have to do this fight. We can always go somewhere else. I'm gonna try a bit more though. Ow. Combos. The combos. Really does not give you as many openings as you would think it would. Just gotta be aware of that. Just gotta be aware of that. I don't think any other amulet would be very useful here. Talisman, whatever it's called. Health up is just, in general, not a bad idea. What are you gonna do? One attack? Really? <laughs>
That was fairly close on that shield attack. Dodge timing. Not quite. Ah, there we go. That was that was quite the combo. My goodness. Ah, that still hit me, really. Always respect the back swings. They can get you. Just as good as anything else can. Oh. Ah, oh, the delay. The delay. Looks like his armor has some, like, crazy corruption or something on it, too. But whatever you get from this guy is pretty neat. Or not. You never know. I mean, we got our weapon from the previous one of these, so. Could be cool. Let's see if we can get some heavy attacks in. Just constantly going in with the light attacks is... Eh. Not like that. Not like that at all. I got another attack. It would also help if our flask sealed more. That would also be nice. Jumped backwards on that one, which isn't really what I was going for. Uh, now we're out of stamina. That's also not a good plan. Yeah, the heavy attacks are just a little slow, unfortunately. If it's not going to get you staggered, it's not ideal. Really. Just a few more tries here. Not seem like jumping attacks were really the answer here either. The answer is just dodge all the damage, of course. But regular attacks are quicker in the smaller windows that we have here in this fight. That's a heavy attack anyways. Ah, tracking on that too. Just casually standing here. Do something. Ran right into that one. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't think circling around is really helping us too much either. Just stay there. Attack the guy. Huge bleed damage either. 
So that might not be a thing that can happen here. But also our attacks are slightly few and far between. So whether or not that's a thing is a whole other question. Ah, so many combos. Amma face. can always come back later. If we're not feeling up to it. Crucible Knight. Alright. Do your four attack combo, then I'll attack. Or just keep doing one attack. That's also fine. There we go. That's more like it. That was three, but that's okay too, I guess. That's the charge of attack. Now we run far away. We can't spear us in the face while we try and heal. Uh, it's not the right way to dodge that one. The direction of the dodge also matters because of the swing direction. Another thing to consider here. As with most things, the attacks are dodgeable. So you just have to dodge all the attacks. And then you're good. Then you win. <laughs> the delayed attack there. So I managed to get out of the way afterwards. Ah, there's another slam. Oh, he doesn't normally go slam, swing, slam like that. That's a new one. I guess that's also a possibility. <laughs> okay, okay. It's gotta be. Now that we're aware that that is a possibility, that gives us another different roll timing to consider. Sword. Sword the wrong way for me. Run away! 
vorhere. Sword. Sword this way, sword that way. There we go. Oh, charge attack. Regular attack. Just slammed and did nothing that time. Okay. Run away and heal. <laughs> Slam. Sword. Nothing. Shield. Run away. Oh, come on. Sword, sword, tap. That was walking instead of rolling there. That's not what I wanted. Alright. One more try here. And then we can go do something else. I don't think we even got him to half health or anything. So a second phase or more attacks that haven't appeared yet is also possible. So we don't know if we're actually getting close to winning here. We're figuring out some of the stuff you can do at least. Crucible Knight. That's shield, though. Slam and then nothing? Okay. Sword. Sword. Slam. Sword. Sword again. Sword again. and the sword. Oh, that was too soon. And I run so far away. Not far enough, apparently. I'm going over here. I'm healing. The amount of distance you need to safely heal, I swear. That guy was getting knocked up into the air. I guess that was just a slam attack, I think. Shield, too. Sword. Sword again. Too soon on the shields. And we're out of healing anyway. Probably one of our better attempts there. One, one more. One more. I mean, we're not really that close to winning or anything. We can use this knowledge later when we come back anyways. Would also help if our flasks healed more and all that. That's absolutely a thing you can get eventually. Up 
too soon on that. Oh, wow. That's got quite the range on it. Nope. Nope. I'm leaving. all his tricks. We're definitely not in a bad spot here. But we don't know that for sure. Ah, she stood on the shield again. Uh, direction we can run. Not gonna try to attack from that point. Oh no! What? Oh no! Now we have a. To... All right. Now we need to live a little longer to see what what is going on now. This is what I was afraid of. Some kind of crazy additional thing he does. He can fly. Okay, sure. Oh, he's got tail attack. Okay. Okay, never, never mind all of this then. Good information to have though. He's got a flying dive bomb attack and a tail attack. Oh no. Not what I wanted to see. I was afraid of that. I was afraid there would be more. The fears were warranted, it seems. Okay. I'm just going to chop that on the list of incomplete things. Stormhill. Everjail. Okay. Very good. We'll have some more information at least, so I can work with that. So now we can return to I'm doing stuff. And then we're going to explore this lower ledge here. So let's do that. This area has a whole bunch of those trolls slash giant guys. But we've dealt with them before, so that's not a huge issue. Small gaps in trees. That's the issue. Here's the friendly everybody's dead meeting. Avoid ruin fragments. Tons of wolves. It's all the graves. It's these guys. Okay. What have we got over here? Nothing's chasing us. That's a plus. If we fight one of these guys at a time, that'd probably be ideal. We can just avoid him. That's also a possibility. Yeah, because there's a second one. Oh, there we got the lead damage going. 
That's good. Yeah, two of these guys at the same time. Is not ideal. One, one at a time, please. And thank you. You could also probably be a little bit more careful. We did get a flashback for killing that one, though. So that's interesting. Oh, there's the bleed damage. Yeah, it didn't seem like bleed was happening. With that knight either. Oh yeah, we just get a flash back. For each time we fight that guy. Very good. And a thousand runes. That's also something. What have we here? Got some messages. Giant and then destruction. Okay. Try giant. Let's go grab a giant. They've all got swords. They're all huge. Coming over here. This one was lying. This one was sitting down. That's slightly different. Alright. Hey, okay, there we go. Okay, let's get you away from all your friends. More Alfred Torn in this case, I guess. Can't miss this opportunity. Get out of here. Let's see what we got for our efforts here. A smithing stone. And a smithing stone. Is that five ones and a two? Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, weak foe. I'd say so. Got a beast liver. He was camping in this camp here. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. One at a time, though, please. Since every fight seems to give us at least one flask, we're not too worried about using some. That really is a nice mechanic. Allowing you to stay out, explore and stuff a bit more. Crimson Flasks. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, I love the bleed. So good.
And this is also good. It'd be nice if they dropped their sword. That'd be something to see. Yeah, we're kind of just clearing the whole area out. Try circling around. It's like a dream. It's like a dream. Well, that's unfortunate for everyone involved. Can't really have much of a vista here with all the storminess. That's okay. Yeah, these giant guys are much more manageable than one guy. Sheep? What do you think you're doing? A budding horn. I don't think we've had that before. Let's take a look at that. It's gonna be crafting material, I assume. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Hunting herbivorous beasts. Rarely seen specimen of a young budding horn. Crafting. Hunting herbivorous beasts. This horn began to sprout on a beast that typically bears no horn. As a vestige of the primordial crucible. Primordial crucible. I mean, I got that from, like, a ram. And those typically do have horns, so. Sure, though. A sanctuary stone. That's slightly different. Found your remains of fallen ruins, but rarely. Rare piece of stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. So similar to the ruined fragments. But this is slightly more interesting. It feeds and strengthens the light as it shines. Okay. Not made for gl with glowstone, though. Human bone shards. Oh boy. Hunting those who live in death. Wow. Fireproof dried liver. Boost fire damage negation. Yep. Yeah. Green meats. All sorts of arrows and such. We also make the grace mimic with human bone shards. Don't have any of human bone shards yet. <laughs> okay. Where are we on the map now? Yeah, right around here. If we head downwards, I think there's at least one more giant nearby. Then beast bones. Uh, there's the giant that's over on that area. So we're like kind of higher up than that though. I guess there was a I think there was a spirit spring that can get into that area. Or we can just fall down. It's also an option. Oh. Here's some stuff. Here's one of these guys. Points to a location we can go to. Cross the way here, huh? Can we... Can we get across the way here? It's like a chasm down here with a road. A bridge over that way, it looked like. There's something. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello. Okay. Hello. I'll be right with you. Anyone? Be right with you. Oh, we got camp here. Okay.
Another ruin that fell from the sky. Oh, we can get up on top. Perfect. From here we can see a bit further. Yeah, that's the slightly further down area where there's another giant. I think that's on the same level as that pot guy. Oh, fell a little bit. Well, we fell into a tree, so we're okay, I guess. And then down here is the camp. So we'll get to that when we explore that way. Let's head down and see this pot guy. If we can get down there safely. We can take a bit of a fall, but if we can minimize the distance, it's more safe, of course. Hello. This, look, this looks acceptable. Can you hear me? Help me! I'm stuck. Hello. Where are Hello? these guys? Hello. Anyone? God ahead. Oh my stars! I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Sure. My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Okay. Are you sure? Come on. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. I'll pop clean out. I'm sure of it. Our sword's nice and big. Don't really want to hurt him, though. Come on. Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. I'll pop clean out. I'm sure of it. Something like this? Not quite. Don't stop now, friend. I'm gonna just keep clobbering away at the old behind. Oh boy. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Alright, if you say so. Hey, there we go. Triumphant delight. Fantastic. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Oh, that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. I was afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Exalted flesh. Okay. That is stuff we already had some of, which temporarily boosts physical attack. Not bad. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet rot blighted Kalid wilds mm -hmm. and upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle in which a festival of combat is being held I'd heard whispers of such festivities before doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter <laughs> alright that's some information he knows about Kalid which is a terrible place we've been Momentarily before. There's a castle there that he is heading to. All to the east. I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Kalid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. Okay. Well, we got some information where he's going. That's good to know. See you later, then. Alexander.
get some bleed going. late on that attack. Thank you, dumb dragonflies. We're getting in the way. Really appreciate it. Take care of all the dragonflies. No, of course we didn't. You get out of here. I will take all your heads. These guys drop strips of white flesh. That's something you do. Could be useful later. Using recipes and such. This is... Oh, there's something. Just flasks? Just flasks. Here's a bridge. There's one of those guys we fought down in the ruins. Pumpkin head guys. Now they're just a regular enemy. Always fun to see. When previous bosses and such become regular enemies. Now we're looking down to areas we've been to before down there. Let's go take care of this troll, giant, whatever they are. Oh, you're not. that back to Crimson Tears would be an idea here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Slam your sword all you want. It will do you no good. Wow, we got a lot of From here, if only I had a lever. Hmm. Is an arteria leaf? Fortnite? No. Just a giant on hill. We already got an item that was hanging over there previously. Anything else on that ledge we need to worry about? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that pretty much takes care of this lower section down here. The next area we want to check out would be along the path here to the shack and the bridge. And yeah, this is going right over the previous areas we've explored. But we do have a lot of runes. Which I kind of want to go use for stuff. Just to know that we've gotten everything that we can get, 
I want to start buying out all the shops. So for that, I'm heading to the Coastal Cave. Merchant here has, I believe, possibly some armor, some weapons. Nothing super crazy. We got like 13,000 runes. We can definitely get some stuff here. And then I won't need to worry about whether or not we have it yet. You again? I don't want any trouble. Purchase. Alright, he's got some boluses that we could have. He has a limited number of them. We just buy them all. Another club could be useful if we want to infuse a club with something. I'm just, I'm just buying everything. Here's a broadsword. Iron round shield with meh defenses. So that means all he has left is arrows and bolts. All done? Well, be on your way then. That was most of our runes there, wasn't it? You again. I don't want any trouble. We can sell some stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna sell any of that. We got three daggers, but I don't need that many. Two of stuff is okay to have. Yeah, we don't need. We're wasting some runes here, but that's okay. I'm fine. We got a duplicate hat. And a hat. Two of these are altered to not have a cape. So one of these. Two of these. One of these. We got two of these legs. So you can pretty much just sell everything. Even if it is in small quantities. All done? Well, be on your way then. Okay. Now we can head to church here. Pick up some of the stuff that this merchant has. And if he has bolts and arrows. Ah, it's you again. We don't really Always need to. A pleasure. Ever head back to, to purchase other one anything? Yep, he's got bolts and arrows, both the regular ones. He also has throwing daggers. He's got these frill calling finger remedies for co op. And then a bit of armor and a leather shield. We still need a few more runes to get here. That he is more useful than the other guy since he has throwing daggers too. Okay. Goodbye. Nice to do business. Yeah, we got plenty of runes from fighting all of those giants. Or whatever they want to call themselves. We have no somber smithing stones, too, unfortunately. We can upgrade our... Sacred Seal. Gives us better incantation scaling. That's not a bad idea. Presumably that would let us do more damage, heal more. It only costs regular smithing stones here. Out of runes, actually. Let's see how we're looking in itemized runes here. Well, these are a lot. I like to mostly save these for 
I need to get levels and stuff. Now, do we have any Simpsons Stone 2s? Probably. A few. We could probably get that up to level 4. We head over to here. Probably worth it. So let's just get that done. Since our current weapon that we are really using is using these somber stones, I think we'll be fine. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Strengthen. I yeah, need 200 wounds. Okay. Inventory. Another one of these. Back already. No matter. Look at that Lay sword. Your arms. Strengthen. Yep. Now we don't have enough smithing stone twos either way. So that'll work. Flood us. Oh. We got information about... No, that was the town of sorcery that we stumbled into earlier. So that is not the red castle place the other guy was talking about. Back to Storm Hill Shack, then. And we can set out from here. Next time. Goodbye.